It's going. Here's it's going. All right. I'm going to get mine going now. All right. It is 5.31 p.m. on Monday, July 17th, 2023. This is a safety committee meeting. In attendance is myself, David McNamara. I have fellow councilmen, um, Jason Camera and J.P. Martin, in addition to our chief of police, um, Matt Delp. A uh, reasonably light agenda tonight. The first thing I believe on the agenda is a discussion of um, the radar signs. Yes, the radar signs. So I received an email back um, from the radar sign company about our questions regarding how mobile they are and the repairability or um, warranty voiding issues should we decide to go forward with them and move them from place to place. Um, I have the direct quote in the meeting agenda which can be pulled up or distributed to any interested party. Um, however, the gist of it is, to the best of my recollection, that the um, signs mount on your typical um, traffic sign um, poles and should not be too terribly difficult to move. Um, also, correct me if I'm wrong, Chief, you have the quote, um, but it seems that repairability should not be a major issue provided nothing completely unusual happens to them. Um, yeah, it basically just mentions the, um, if, uh, um, if there's some kind of uh, uh, mistreatment or um, obvious mishandling, that they would cover the, uh, mm -hmm. the warranty. Yeah, that's what I remember the gist of it to be. So with those, again, without saying assurances, I, I do feel that um, in light of the fact that they should be reasonably mobile and um, we would have the option uh, or, and easily mobile and easily um, serviceable, I, I do think it'd be valuable to go forward with one of them maybe and we could put it you know around the um, hot spots in the village for speed or we could even do you know more than one and put them you know around the school area so is this the one is this similar to what we had previously where we kind of just put it around the village and it was kind of hidden but detected it or is no this one of no these are the radar ones that have the you the know big sign yeah your speed you know <clears throat> or gotcha. slow down or with the speed limit thing okay. yeah I, th I think it could be a reasonable investment um especially around the school area or on minerva lake road what's the cost oh it was 30 something hundred per unit about a little little under eight for two of them eight Eight hundred. Eight thousand. Eight thousand for two. So to round up, I would say around four. So yeah, around. Yeah. So, does um, do they record stuff too, or is it just a? Uh, there is the option for that. Yes. Is that extra, or is that included in something you just turn on or off? I would have to get the package or the um brochure that I have on my desk at home. <laughs> I should have brought that with me. It then. was extra. Okay. Thank you. So do we have any thoughts on that? Do we think that'd be a added value to kind of this safety package we're more or less putting together? My recommendation would be if you're going to purchase, go ahead and purchase one. Okay. And see how it works and then move forward with a second one if you feel that it's beneficial. All right. That's, I think that is more than reasonable. Would Mayor, what's your perspective on that? Would be to make your job easier. Pros and cons to it. I agree. I would not do two yet. I definitely would not. I think it's trial and error. You try it and see if it works. And we can do that. If not, we can sell the thing. <coughs> yeah, I definitely would. Do does two it? Yet. Um, okay. Does it work from both directions or just one direction? It is monodirectional. Is what okay. it looks like yeah, on it, the. It's basically a speed limit sign. Right. Yeah. So okay. you're coming down. There's a speed limit sign on a speed limit pole. 
Mm -hmm. And then it's got a little readout that says your speed and tells you. So what it's not like the one that we had previously that was it's on that a big kind trailer. of cart. Yeah, okay. It's not a trailer. It's not like a trailer. It's like the they're having on Cleveland Avenue as you go that way. It just tells you how fast you're going. Sometimes you can get them to maybe flash at you if you're going over there. Gotcha. Okay. It's a deterrent. Okay. Yeah. Is it going to be the end all be all solution? No, it's it's not. I'm not sure there is an end all be all one-stop shop solution, but I, I do see it as being, you know, an added value in a solution, Put a part of a solution, you know. The highly most speeded area would definitely, I would think. Yeah, hopefully we could see some improvement on it. Um, so that's the update that I had on that when I reached back out to them. So that was some um, good news. Um, I, I definitely <coughs> think that, you know, it'd be worthwhile to see what one could do for the village. Um, if there are no more top, uh, discussion topics on the radar sign. Um, so I'm going to ask, do you want us to move forward looking to see if we need to do an appropriation for it or if we need to do any sort? Do you want me to start with one? Let's start um, with I one. I have to verify whether or not I need legislation for it. Um, I'll, I'll work with Jeff to find out if we have. I will get to that here in a minute, but I assume that that might be something that we do need to do an appropriation instead of. Yeah, and I know. I know it was right on the edge of. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I know it was right on the edge of the discretionary. Yeah. Or so, discretionary. So if we need to do any kind of legislation, I'll let you know, and then obviously I'll just bring it to you guys, and then you guys can make the final decision. So you want to move forward with that one. I would move forward with one, yes. Okay. So I'll bring it, and then that way it's directed to count all of council. Yeah, unless there's any objection here. here. Okay. All right. Those are solar. Um, I have a question. Yeah. Okay. Are you going with the solar or the rechargeable? I would imagine solar. Will it be blocked by the tree? This is really dumb. Will it be blocked by some of the trees, or as long as there's enough... I think it comes down to placement. Right? Yeah, so maybe the rechargeable battery would give us more op options. I'd hate to be limited to putting it in certain places. Well, yeah. How many ambient, you know, how much ambient light does it need? I don't know. Right. I don't have that date off the top of my head. Will it work during the winter time when there's not much sun? Well, yeah. solar panels do work in the winter. But yeah, that's, I don't are know, they the battery. Price, are they the same, or is there a big price difference between them? Do you guys know? I haven't seen those numbers. Okay. We'll double check both. Yeah. I, and see if there's a big price. I don't remember seeing that on and the then brochure how, if either. If it's rechargeable, how long does it last before you have to recharge it? Mm hmm. And the other question. We, um, I believe that was two weeks. Is that right, Dave? You said yeah. one to two weeks. One, one two to two weeks. weeks. Mm hmm. Yeah. I, <coughs> I don't remember the price difference on the brochure. I'm if the solar works, that sounds like a much more easier product. Like, yes. Again. Instead of having to have somebody go out, take it down, change the battery. Charging. Yeah, it's just more logistical of a task. Uh, right. Just more logistical tasks. Mm -hmm. Or we just need more batteries, which is going to be an even higher cost. Yeah. The solar would be probably more difficult to move. Probably. Just because of the where you could put it. Right. That's true. Right. Well, at any rate, we can start preliminarily mm -hmm. moving forward with it. Mm -hmm. um, so again, not a. Not a huge list of topics tonight. Um, the second one is from our good old chief, Matt Delp, on the need to adjust our um, uh, staffing levels for the police department. And with that, I will let you take it away, sir. Thanks. Um, right now, currently in the uh, village, the um, Authorized strength of the department is limited to one sergeant. I'd like to raise that to two sergeants. Um, there wouldn't be an increase in the number of officers, just a restructuring of the rank structure in the uh, department. In um, talking it over with um, finance director, it would be an approximate net change of approximately $6,000 for the budget total budget for the um, department. Okay. And would that help with like the different shifts or? So basically we, we need supervision on the third shift. Um, right now there's, uh, we have um, 
with Sarge on second shift and no one on third shift. Um, right now our sergeant and lieutenant are getting calls at night um, for decisions to be made. And some decisions can only be made by a supervisor. So we just need somebody on, on that shift. Um, just to finally fill out the um, um, department and make it continue to be uh, more professional. Um, typically, uh, police departments have a, uh, a shift supervisor on each shift, so that's, uh, that's my goal. Let's make that so. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't believe that to be an inappropriate ask at all. So we're going to be just replacing Ordinance 04 um, which you guys just passed in April, and that will uh, just change the um, authorized number of sergeants from one to two. Sounds good. Yeah, would and we would, and I saw you'd or I heard you'd already spoken to uh, Mr. Wilczek about the financial needs. I'm sure could be worked into a addendum to that ordinance. So it doesn't sound like any insurmountable hurdles at all. Which I think covered the, the next, uh, since, um, since uh, Mr. Wilczek couldn't make it to the meeting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was my ask that we had had some input from him on that, but it seems like that's already been done, so excellent. Um, I did have an email from a resident recently about the gap in the fence. And again, this is kind of the this kind of a third topic that um, I said I would bring to the committee and I will follow through with that. Um, so there is a resident on Carlton Court who has a concern about the fence gap between their property and the uh, track and field. So I, I did explain in the in our correspondence that the goal is, or, to, or the, maybe not the goal, but the current plan is to leave it as it is so that the field is more accessible. However, there was some, still some um, doubt as to the safety of that. Um, I just, and I, I said I would bring it to the committee and I am doing so. So this is actually someone's personal property that should be sealed off from the school because this is how kids can it's mm -hmm. not their personal property. No, it's property. not their personal it's not, property. No. no, it's the village's. It, this, this is a fence that's been there for whatever. They're just concerned now that there's a track and field, they feel like there could potentially, and correct me if I'm wrong, I don't want to out, you know, um, they feel like there might be more people cutting through. Mm -hmm. okay. so that, that this seems... is not on theirs. So this is the same opening that has always been there. Always been there. Mm -hmm. um, my understanding from Westerville City Schools is the intent is to be able to allow residents and that to be able to use the track and field, and that is the way that people are going to get in to use the track and field. They can cut through this way or whatever. Um, and then with talking to, and I don't want to throw because he's not here, but I'm going to, um, it appeared from, actually, it appeared from one of the other council members that that's pretty common practice with Westerville, that they are left so residents in the areas can use their mm -hmm. track and fields, that they are left open like that. What, um, if I may... Do middle schools charge admissions to sports events? It is, but it's right at the, um, that's probably where they will stand to collect money. Yes, they absolutely, they do. Yeah, yeah, they definitely do. I didn't think about it for a second. I didn't think about it for a second. I think, yes, they do. So, But that's probably where they would stand, or they so would stand in two places. Where's the gap? Is it's right it behind on, the stadium. Is it on Carlton Court? No, this it's, is at it's at the corner of the pool. pool. Yeah, it's at the corner of the pool. Oh, He's got okay. So it's just the pool size. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's been, it's been like that since. It, was, it has been like that for quite some time. Yeah. It's yeah. It's yeah. the same. Okay. I yeah. thought there was a gap on Carlton well, Court. Well, and if it was you explained. and if you look at the way they put a sidewalk in, there's a sidewalk that leads right to where that dumpster is so at the pool. So it's going to be back entrance. Yes. Yeah. Oh. That's so. That's pretty much standard everywhere. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, the, the concern is from the Carlton Court property that they're afraid that their yard is going to be cut through is my understanding of the complaint. So they would cut through their yard, go around the pool fence, 
and then go over to that gap on, on Valley. You can just, no, because you go right to the Carlton Court <coughs> to get to that, to that house. Right. Like, so this is Carlton Court right here, and this is the driveway. So if you walk around the backside of their house. Um, You're in the track and field area yeah. from so their backyard. This fence right here is the corner of Minerva Park Pool, this side. And this is the Hawthorne fence that's always been there. And it's always been about two yep. feet gap. About a foot and a half. But so the yeah. pool's over here, mm -hmm. yeah. inside that fence. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, my so understanding was it's all on village still... land or Westerville land, but. Well, it is, but how do you get to that part of the land? To Carlson Court, or if you're a, a resident, or. So you, have to, you have to walk, walk through there. someone's yard. No, it's our right there. away. We just don't have mm -hmm. paths mm -hmm. through there. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Yeah, the village. The village owns those as our right away. We just don't have any structured paths through those points. Yeah, I I live. 150 feet away from there yeah, yeah. there's um yeah there's just a small I, when she sent it to me i went out and checked it out it's just a about a foot and a half gap between the pool fence and what i would assume would be Winter park or city or you know westerville city schools fencing um at any rate i just wanted to address their concerns before the safety committee part of me feels like Kids could come through there and escape off their elementary kids, but because no one's really that. yeah. And I'm well aware. Of Chase I mean, it's, where it's, where at, at this point, it's a little hard to know what's going to happen back there. Yes, because nothing's open. So yeah, I would just think that Westville City Schools will at least want to know that if they don't already know it. No, that would be mine. They know it's there. Oh, they they, are, they it's actually on, addressed it and yeah. said that they were leaving it open so residents yeah. could be able to use the facility. <laughs> it's on their plans because I asked about it when I saw the yes. plans. I'm like, what then is this? Yeah. Yes. That makes sense. It is, mm -hmm. They are fully aware that it's there. Yeah. Cool. Can anyone else? Just don't advertise it. I was going to say, yeah, if the... If that, if that gap was to ever be reconsidered, the, we'd have some very happy residents in that Carlton Court area. Um, she would also have some very disappointed residents that can't get through That's that. true. That's also true. It's a, it's a balance. So um, maybe there's another place we could relocate it. So, I mean, those are all things that we can talk about later. If there's a different place to put a gap. I, I don't know that there is. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not, yeah. Right. All right, those are the major things I had. Um, sorry about the surprise third edition there. Are there any roundtable topics, anything that's come up recently we need to discuss? The flop camera conversation, did I miss that? One versus two versus three versus, did I miss it? I, don't I think was they about have. to ask what the... Uh... So from um, Jeff, Mr. Wilczek, um, it was if we do one, we're good on the budget. We do two, there needs to be an appropriation. That's my easy answer. Okay. That's two in addition to what we have right now. Correct. Correct. One, he, yeah, one, he thinks he can fly with what he has. Two, no. The, um, I, I just had a meeting with Flock today about this. Um, basically what happened was Flock grew, and they were growing at a pace that was so big that their billing department got overwhelmed. They restaffed their billing department, and... 2022's bill came in March of this year. So that was the bill from 2022, which we didn't even realize we never received. Right. We, we assumed that was the 2023 to 24 um, bill, paid that bill. Then in June, they said, hey, uh, they sent us another bill. We're like, uh, we already paid this what's going on, there was a lot of confusion, our contract expired, they are working on um, extending us some grace because of the um, 2022 billing snafu and allowing us to lock in these cameras, whichever we add to the contract, uh, locking those in at the $2,500 um, per year cost rather than the, or their current rate is 3000 per camera. Well, we may as well get two at, yeah, the, I was thinking at the better should, deal. Well, not only get two because of a better deal, but also keeps the neighborhood more secure. The two main entrances off of 161. 
Is there a time limit that you know of for sure that we need to do these by? Like, like if we question. do legislation for, He's, um, we're only on first reading. Our Ohio rep is going to speak to um, the higher ups in the company to see what uh, where it stands. Okay. Um, but Our Ohio we were the rep. second agency in Central Ohio to get these cameras. Um, they know that we were happy with them, and uh, they, they also know that we um, have solved several crimes with those things, as, as well as assisting other agencies. So, um, they're, they're, they're a, he feels that it's, gonna, it's not going to be an issue, um, but I explained to him that um, if we do have legislation that we put forth on the 27th, we would do the three readings I would ask to be passed as an emergency. Okay. So we could go into contract in September. Agreed. Um, and this, that, <laughs> this is not a council meeting. No. <laughs> I was like, but I'm rolling. We yeah. actually already did the first reading. Yeah. I think we just, yeah, yeah we just did a generic first, you not generic, generic, but first yeah, we already okay. did one, so we should be good. Uh, okay. So, uh, if, and then I explained to him that if it doesn't pass by emergency, it would probably be end of September before it okay. became effective. Okay. And so he's going to uh, speak with his um, bosses to um, make sure that we can work that out, knowing that we're increasing our number of cameras okay. by at least one. Okay. So I can leave legislation the way that it reads and then just bring in um, the appropriations for that. I'm writing down all the... Beautiful. It was discussed... Probably, I mean, you heard, you probably heard that we discussed just putting them at every entrance. Yeah, we, we knew that wasn't fiscally um, possible. But That's going to hit our hot spots at this that's point. A, yeah. Here the school would be a good move. Well, and that was my, that was my intention. It was either, if we couldn't, if we couldn't afford to put another camera there, then we were going to move one to that location by the schools. That's all I have. All right, that's um, everything I have at the moment as well. Um, unless there's any other roundtable topics. So to follow up, we are going to go forward with one radar sign to see how that works um, in our quest for uh, safer, less speedy streets and traffic awareness. We are going to adjust Ordinance 04-2023 to reflect the need for a sergeant on third shift. Um, and we are going to go forward with appropriations for two flock cameras. Um, is there anything else that we need to discuss. Camera at the pavilion? Yes. We're getting the camera for the pavilion. So we still don't have the electric yet. I don't know how long that's going to be um, before we do it. I, I don't know that there's not a reason that we can't move forward trying to figure out exactly the next steps. I, I know we've talked about it numerous ways and the most economical way to get some sort of camera, whether or not Chief wants it monitored within the cruisers, whether or not just having a camera that feeds back to the office, whether or not it's just some sort of iCloud type storage. I don't know what everybody's expecting or what everybody's hoping for, but that would probably be the next topic is what exactly are you hoping these cameras can do, will do, and how extreme do you want to go? I know that there's discuss there has been discussions of potentially putting them in other locations as well once we do this particular one, but I think what is the expectation and what are you hoping for? Is it something... I think we Where need to know to what some of the options are what, and what they cost. Because that, would that involve KGT if we had them into the cruisers? Is that even a I Like, I don't know. I'm making that up. I, so I just came out with it in my head. If you're going to have internet-capable cameras, they would have to be cellular. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, obviously, or... You're, you're involving running cable and, and a router and, and mm -hmm. doing something, I, I don't know. Uh, but uh, 
the only way that you're getting a signal out is either through a wire or through uh, cellular transmission. So, um, Does Flock do anything like that? I don't I know, know if there's any other options there. Um, Flock. I mean, is, I know what the, that system doesn't do it, but do so they? So, Flock is branching up, um, branching out their services. Uh, they have a bunch of new services, including uh, pan tilt zoom um, live feed cameras. If that's something that council is interested in, perhaps for 2024, I can um, contact my my uh, higher rep and ask them to give us a quote on one of those cameras. Sounds cool. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool. Because not only would it be pan tilt zoom, but I think it's also capable of doing the automatic license plate reader as well. Cool. Yeah. That would be really cool. Really Can you find cool. that out next time you talk? And like you, you said, it would be for 2024, I'm assuming. And since the officers already have Flock in their, mm -hmm. in their cruisers, they would, they would be able to pull up that camera. That would be awesome. Mm -hmm. That would be beneficial, I mean. So depending on where you put it, you could uh, potentially have PTZ to the basketball court, the, um, what are we calling it now? Pavilion. pavilion. Mm -hmm. The pavilion and the park. But I don't know how people would feel about that. Well, again, I think it's, you do the th whole three readings and I think you're going to find out. I wouldn't, li I wouldn't like skipping readings on that. But the, they do have that product. I don't know what their cost is. Okay. It's probably pricey. I'm sure it is. But I'll find out. But I'm sure all of them are going to be somewhat pricey. When well, we start we talk talking about cellular and all that. I will email my rep, the Ohio rep tomorrow. That's awesome. Cool. When well, we talked about cameras and what do we expect out of them, I honestly, I just kind of thought maybe a camera that could, if something did occur, we could rewind that and then see what actually happened and use that if we needed to to help solve a mystery or a crime or that might have, may or may not have, I don't know. Okay, scuba do. I didn't necessarily mean something that was like, you know, it's cool that we have a live feed. Did not just say I think it's cool that even better if it's live feed and they can do all kinds of cool stuff. But uh, I know what you're saying. But, but I was just trying to give a, like an expectation no, yeah. of like. Uh, <laughs> well, on that note, we're bumping up against our time. So I believe we've accomplished what we need to accomplish. And I will move to adjourn. Second. All right. We are adjourned.